Hello everybody and welcome to another RuneScape private server tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to edit your client's background. Okay, so to start off with, I'm a little unwell so I might sound a bit different, but besides that you will need Photoshop and also two other things. One is optional, one is not. The first thing you will need is the sprite editor. Um, it just pretty much edits the sprites or it shows you what sprites are in your cache and how to edit it and you can replace and add new stuff but we'll get onto that later. Another one that could be handy and I'll be using it in this guide is this thing. It pretty much uses, it gets your image and chops it into the eight little slots that you need for your background which you'll understand later but both the links for these programs will be in the description so you don't need to worry about that. But anyway, first you'll need to find someone who has Photoshop or get Photoshop yourself. Um, so when you have Photoshop, open it up and create a new file and it will have to be 956 pixels wide by 503 in height. So after you've done that, just push OK. And then create whatever background you want. For example, we're just going to do this, which is just a random one. And then there's two options. If you don't want to use this tool, and I didn't use this tool, but if you want to use that tool, if you don't want to use that tool, then you can use the slice tool, which pretty much just slices up your screen into different little layers and stuff. I did that in the one that I did and it turned out like this or it looks like this it, would, it can be pretty hard to do this so I would just recommend doing this method that I'm going to show you soon but you can slice it up if you want but first of all what you have to do is you have to go file and then click well after you've got your um, image that you want to have as your background go file save for web and devices and then this may look a little bit confusing if you haven't used Photoshop before but the way I do it is set it to GIF, make sure it says Diffusion, uh, Transparency is on, and then make the colors up here to 250. That's the key point that no one seems to be able to do, is to make the colors to 250. This is so important, I'm not actually too sure why, I think it's because the cache only reads in 250 colors, but I'm not actually too sure about that. If you go down to PNG, I think it's 24. No, PNG 8, it does have colors, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. You might be able to find out how to make it work, but I just stick with GIF. Okay, so you want to keep the file size around about, uh, around about, I'd say 50 kilo, oh, 50k to maybe 100k max. Um, and then after you have that, just save the file and save it to your desktop. Just call it whatever you want. So RSPS, for example, and then we've saved it. So it should be on our background now, or our desktop background I mean, or desktop I mean, not desktop background. Your image should be on your desktop. So then open up the RuneScape background utility, and then just click run. You might need to right click it and edit the paths depending on whatever your system uses. So, uh, maybe not, don't worry actually. But once this loads, which it has, click choose. I haven't actually used this before, so I'm just going off the flow sort of thing. Um, and then select the image that you wanted to cut up. So select the image, make sure it's either in, well, you can choose whatever you want, I'm going to say GIF, just because it was GIF, and then I'm going to produce images, and then done. Okay, so go back into your folder which has your RuneScape background utility, click that, and then click out, and you should have eight images of your background. Okay, cool. So now open up your sprite editor's folder, go into this folder and then click run sprite editor. You may need to compile it depending on how often you used it, but then go file and you can either click load cache, which is what you're going to have to do, and then you just find your cache, so go wherever your cache is, so mine is in server stuff, and then source stuff, sources, and then uh, coonscape is for me, coonscape, extinction release, extinction source and then in the data and then double click cache okay so then just click open and it should take a few seconds to load and then you'll bring to this each one is for different sprites so as you can see zero is whatever the sprite is and I forget what the thing is so okay sorry but to find the um, background image you have to click these uh, click one of these buttons and then type in 4319 I think it is, nope, hang on, I think it was 4139, 4139, yeah, well, yeah, pretty much, so 4139, or you can either scroll down using the scroll bar until you come to 4319, which I just lost again, 4319, uh, 4319, 
Wait, what a... Oh, my God. 4139, four, I mean. Sorry about that. So scroll down until you find 4139. As you can see, 3149... Three, three, oh, my God. 3... Oh, my God. 4139 is one image. is the top left image of the background. 4140 is the middle. And then it's across, and then across, and then it goes down to the other corner, and then across, and across, and then it's the other corner, if that made any sense. So, what you need to do is go up to 4139... Th four, the original, and then click Replace Selected Frame. If you want, it may be handy to uh, where is it? S click Save Images, so you can save a little backup in case you muck this up. See, there's the background, the backup of that image. But anyway, so click Replace Selected Frame, then find your sprite. Uh, where did we put it? It was in Rootscape Background Utility. And then click Out, and then One, and then Open. Then make sure you pack the cache. Pack the cache each time you replace an icon, as it's just good to stop corruption and all that kind of stuff. So then go through the next one, click replace, and then desktop, and then back into the RuneScape Background Utility. RuneScape Background Utility again, or wherever you put it, it doesn't really have to be in here, and then click two, and then keep going down, make sure they are the right ones. So if you're replacing, oh, I forget you remember to push pack the cache, but if you're replacing this one, Make sure you replace it with the right image, and I'll just pause the video and quickly do this for you. Okay, so I've just finished adding all the little images to the right ones, like that, and remember to pack the cache after each time you've done it. So after you've done that, click the red X to close it and save it. You can close this as well, it doesn't really matter. And then go into your caches folder. So mine is in Coonscape, and then Extinction Source, Extinction Source, but go into your source folder. It should already be done, so just click Run and then choose your local client, whichever one you use, or your normal client. And it should take a little while to load, as it's just like renewing the cache, sort of, depending on what it is. If someone already has the client open, say you're changing it while you have your server online, people will need to restart your client, or restart the client, which just means like closing it and reopening it. If you don't understand what I mean, then just ignore it. But anyway, it should load up, and eventually should change to the login screen. And there, you have your background as whatever you want it. So that's pretty much how you do it. If you want to do it for other things, then you just need to find the right ID. So if you want to do it for the login ones, or the loading ones, which I mean, if you don't know what I mean, is you can change any background, any sprite, pretty much in this method. You could change these backgrounds as well. So when it loads, so you could change these backgrounds if you want, just doing the same method as long as you have the IDs. Um, I've made a little ID list if you want to use it. These are all the IDs that I have found. So like it says down here, uh, loading backgrounds, login backgrounds. Login background is 4139 to 4146. And that's the uh, ID in the sprite editor. So that's how you do it. Um, hopefully you understand it and hopefully my mistakes didn't make you up too much, uh, and thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching, so goodbye.